Uh, the FDA pushed this panel very hard to remove the restricted access to Avandia, and the panel didn't buy it. The majority of them voted to possibly loosen those restrictions, but this is still a drug that will be on restricted access, meaning that it'll come from a central pharmacy and be available only under relatively extreme circumstances. Nothing is going to resurrect Avandia as a mainstream diabetes therapy. Most countries of the world in world have banned the drug. In the U.S., it's still available, but it's only taken by about 3,000 patients. I don't think the decision of the advisory committee is going to change anything. The drug is, is effectively dead. I think the FDA was very embarrassed when our 2007 article first raised the concern about the safety of the drug. They really wanted to whitewash the affair. This advisory panel was for appearances. It wasn't about science. It was about politics. And despite a maximum effort by the FDA, the outcome really will change very little. I'm relieved, frankly, that there will not be a return of this drug to widespread use. Uh, it's a drug we don't need. There are very good alternatives, including another alternative in the same class, pioglitazone. And uh, the medical community has already made up its mind about uh, the safety of Avandia. And their answer is, this is not a drug to give to patients routinely. You know, I can, the only the FDA can answer the question about whether this is going to, you know, come up again. I hope they've learned their lessons. We need to move on. Uh, fortunately, we have many good drugs in development for diabetes that don't seem to have cardiovascular risks, and that's a good thing. I don't think anybody should be given Avandia for any reason under any circumstances. This is not a safe drug. We've known for many years that it's not safe. It needs to go away.